Hey, Scott Suggs here. I just want to go over the Thunder Cricket. We're going to get down and we're going to get deep with it. Um, I carry a variety in my boat. I carry a 3 8 I carry a half ounce, a 5 8 ounce, and a 3 quarter ounce. And I carry all those for different reasons. If I'm fishing super shallow, I'm always going to have that 3 8 on. But when I go to getting in cover that's four foot or deeper, I'm gonna to go to a half. When I get the cover that's like six foot and deeper, I'm gonna to go to the five eighths. When I get down in that, you know, eight foot range, nine foot range, I'm always gonna have that three quarter on. And then I'm gonna get into it here in just a little bit. Another time I throw a three quarter when the cover's not quite that deep. So when I'm throwing a thunder cricket, when I pull up to a body of water to break it down, I'm gonna have a shed colored on, a green pumpkin on, and I'm gonna have a black and blue on. And I'll mix up my trailers when I do this. I like to throw a rage swimmer on the back of one. And that's to give you more of that brim action, more of the shad action and everything. And that bait swims a little bit different that way. It, it'll, it'll maintain its depth, but it tracks on pretty much a true line. Whenever you go to a crawl top trailer on the back, which the scam bug is great for this, it the way it, you put it on, it'll rise that bait up a little bit and helps you keep it clean a lot of times when you're fishing real heavy cover. Now, to make me help decide where I'm going, if I go to Florida tomorrow, I'm gonna break it down with a probably a rage swimmer on the back and it's going to be in that silverish color silver white something because florida is known for the shiners so i'm going to try to maintain that shape and that color if i go somewhere where you've got a lot of crawfish i'm always going to have a crawfish trailer on the back of it so even though i'm going to these different bodies of water there's certain times they still prefer a trailer over another one so I always have a variety of them tied on and that way I can figure out the one they're wanting the best and that's the one I'm going to go with no matter where I'm at. So when I'm fishing, I said I'd come back to the three quarter. <clears throat> In the fall, when those fish have their feed bags on and they're out there and they're ready to eat, whether I'm fishing in four foot of water or I'm fishing in eight foot of water, nine foot of water, I've gotten now to where I throw a three quarter a lot. The reason why, long cast, reel it a whole lot faster, cover a whole lot more water, but keep that bait down there in that strike zone. Get a lot more bites in the fall throwing a three quarter. Um, that's basically my breakdown color wise. Um, only time that I really get kind of crazy is in muddy water. I'll go to a chartreuse and white, and a lot of times I go to a white blade. I want that all the flash I can possibly get. When I do that, 90% of the time, I'm gonna have a rage swimmer on it. I'm gonna have a white one on it. I'm gonna match my bait the best I can. And uh, it just shows up great in dirty water. People would think why it doesn't, it does. The key to that whole deal is though, I like a gold blade on it. Um, that's basically my breakdown on them the way I use them, what I look for when I go to different bodies of water. And 90% uh, of the time, I'm throwing it on the Signature Series bladed jig rod. And I'm throwing it on, I like a 7.5 to 1. I can wind it slow if I need to. If I need to speed it up, I can speed it up. Throw it on 15, sometimes 17, uh, Contra 4 carbon. And... Uh, that's, that's basically my setup. Let me promise you, it'll catch them everywhere in the world.